we move into round number four. And for this round, we're going to take you into the back room of the Liars Club. And we're going to show you a sculpture which was loaned to us by the Zachary Waller Gallery. It was created by Leon Salter, and it's valued at $1,500. <laughs> now, Ralph, will you please describe the sculpture and give us its title? Gladly. I, I've, I'm going to have a little trouble with this because there seems to be a discrepancy when I tell you that this has horsemen in the title. You're going to say, why isn't it an equine figure, of course, an equestrian figure? The reason is that this is a symbolic horseman. The sculptor had in mind I, this is what I deduce anyway, the four horsemen of the apocalypse, all of which are very foreboding figures, and you can take your choice. This might be pestilence, it might be starvation or whatever, but it's one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and he calls it simply horsemen. Thank you, Ralph. Okay, Betty White. <laughs> Well, that isn't it, obviously, but the fun of the show, you get to lie and your conscience doesn't bother you. Now, as you can see, this, this does, pardon me, this does turn. And the figure you can see all the way around doesn't really look like a figure at all. But Mr. Salter had in mind, a, a, he titled this, this work, <laughs> Into the Future. And it, it, it's Betty, trying... I'm sorry, what was that? I didn't get the title. Into the Future. Into the Future. Does that knock you out a little it, bit? It really gets to me. It's to try to personify how man is finding all the flesh and all the soft, warm things of mankind and the birds and the trees and everything are all going to be gone and just stark, hard metal is going to be left and that's into the future. That's really the way we're going to go. A nice, positive way of thinking. <laughs> all right, Dick Gaudier. Uh, thank you, Rod. First of all, I think it looks like Rolf. <laughs> 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 that was my first reaction. I mean, I mean, you see it in profile. <laughs> no, actually, Leon Salter, I happen to know the gentleman that uh, did this piece of sculpture. He's quite, quite a fine artist, and he's a very serious artist, and he did this as a self-portrait. Now, don't laugh yet. After he was divorced, it is called Divorced Man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dick. <laughs> All right, Phil Lindstrom. Well, everybody's made a terrible mistake. This is really a very beautiful thing, and there's nothing supposed to be rough or pestilent about it. It's it's liquid. It's just it's it's the flowing liquefaction. It's it's almost wet. You can almost see the the, the water running down it, running off of the figure. Here's the hand. It's a woman coming out of the water. Remember when Ursula Andrews came out of the water? Oh, wow, then, do well, I? Yeah. That's right. In her but, so. Anyway, it, that's what it is. It's, it's a woman coming out, and she's all wet, and she just shakes herself dry. You see, and it's all the water. <laughs> this is a woman or a cocker spaniel. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's called Virgin Shaking Herself Dry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Barbara and Bob, Ralph's title is Horseman. Betty White calls this piece of statuary Into the Future. Dick tells us it's called Divorced Man. And Pia says, vir calls it virgin shaking herself dry. <laughs> Barbara, we'll start with you. Um, I think Dick Odier is right. I think it looks like a divorced man. It's like a divorced yes. man. Do you know any divorced men who look like that? <laughs> Not many, no. After alimony, I can well understand why. How about you, Bob? Well, I think the pestilence is there, so I'll go with Rolf. You go with Rolf, who calls it horseman, and you go, Barbara, with Dick, who calls it divorced man. Horseman what? Just horse. horse oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the Jim mics Isaacs. weren't working. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim Isaacs. The Zachary Waller Gallery tells us that this sculpture by Leon Salter is really entitled Into the Future. Oh, my. <laughs> Well, we move into round number five with breakneck, breakneck speed, <laughs> Barbara and Bob, I, uh, with an item in front of Pia. Yes, I almost have to get up and show you <laughs> how, do, this, how this works. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm, because what, you remember when I was telling you about the cooking, the French thing, when yeah. they're in there cooking with that thing? Well, it gets very warm in the kitchens, and this is put on the floor. Can you see that? And you step on this. <laughs> and the air comes up and cools you off. <laughs> it's, a, it's a 
kind of an old-fashioned air conditioner for kitchens when you're beating up egg whites. I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dick. I also have to demonstrate this. <laughs> this is before spray cans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I wouldn't expect anyone to believe this is an old deodorant thing. <laughs> now, what this actually is, it's uh, uh, the uh, men at the fairs, at the carnivals, you know where I hang around. They, uh, they like to put their, they put their feet on here and they blow up balloons <laughs> like this, and then they tie them off and, hello, girl. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, Dick. Okay, Betty White. I'm not sure what it is, but I want one. <laughs> no, it is used at, at carnivals and small fairs, but for a very different reason. There's a, there's a, it's attached to a little wire that goes there, and it simply is the thing that the man stands at races, any relay race or horse race or the small ones, not, of course, at big racetracks, but just for small races, and he watches as the racers finish at the finish line, he just automatically, the first one that does, he steps on this very hard, and the flag shoots up. It's a winning flag shooter-upper, is all it is. <laughs> can't quite visualize that. Well, this was, okay, well, again, no, unless you've had your time. This, <laughs> this was a great scientific and adva uh, advance for its time because the old-fashioned blacksmiths had to use an arm to work the bellows to keep the fire hot when they were forging something. Now, this was considered an advance because it left both hands free, a uh, rubber hose fitted over this nipple, and <laughs> led into the, the uh, source for the fire, and the air went up through there as he pressed this with his foot with both hands free to handle the horseshoes or whatever, and could control the heat of the fire that way. It's a blacksmith's foot bellows. Mm -hmm. Okay, Barbara and Bob, Ralph calls this a blacksmith's foot bellows. Betty White calls it a flag raiser, who announced the advent of victorious horses. Dick calls it a balloon blower. And Pia tells us it's kind of an, an old-fashioned air conditioner for hot kitchens. Which, or cooks, as the case is. hot cooks, yeah. And if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. You won't buy that. <laughs> okay, Bob, we're going to start with you. Who's honest over there? Nobody. I agree with you. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, can, I, really I can don't, don't, I don't I agree with you. Uh, I think it's weird enough. I'll go with Pia. <laughs> You're gonna I go think with it's an old-fashioned air conditioner. Okay, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara? Um, I'm going to go with Ralph Peterson. Go with Ralph, mm -hmm. who calls it an old, a part of an old bellows, uh -huh. a foot bellows, and Pia's called it an old-fashioned air conditioner, a cooling device for hot kitchens. All right, Jim Isaacs, our omniscient Mr. Isaacs, tell us what it is. The Bargain Center Antique Shop tells us that this is a device used to inflate balloons. <laughs> I'll tell you, team. Well, they'll never learn, right? That's true. I've That's been, true. Well, so we're going to be right back with more of the Lions Club following this brief message. Come on.